Windows Movie Maker used to be the old video editing software that came with Windows 7 and older Windows versions. Windows Movie Maker was officially discontinued on January 10, 2017, and it is now replaced by Video Editor. And this is how Video Editor looks. In today's video, I want to show you how to use Windows 10 Video Editor step by step. I've also made a tutorial about where to download Windows Movie Maker for free and also how to use it if you prefer that video editing software. I will link that video in the description box. All right, so when you want to access Video Editor in Windows 10, type here in your search area, Video Editor, or alternatively, you can also access Video Editor in the Photos app. So I'm going to type Video Editor in the search area. You can see that it comes up fairly quickly. This opens the Video Editor that comes with Windows 10. And the benefit of typing Video Editor and launching that way is that it opens the Photos app, but drops us directly into the Video Projects view. All right, so this is the main video editor screen. When you land on this page, you will have all your projects displayed from newest to oldest. And you can rearrange how they're displayed up here on the top right corner. This means that when you have started a project in video editor and you want to continue the project at a later time, you can reopen video editor and you will find your started project here. Like for example, this wedding video that I have already started working on. So this is a really nice feature in Windows 10 Video Editor that we didn't have in Windows Movie Maker. Now what we want to do is to start a new video project. I can do that by clicking on the link New Video up here in the menu area. And that will give me three options. So I can choose to start a new video project or I can also select automatic video. And if you select this option, it means that video editor will create a video for you for your selected clips and photos. You can see now that Video Editor has created a movie for me, which looks pretty good actually. The biggest downside with this is that Video Editor will cut out random parts of your clips and photos, which you might not necessarily want to cut out of your video project. So if you want to have a greater control about what's going to be in your video project, then I suggest you do the editing manually. However, if you want something that is quick and easy, then you can try this option. So if you want to create a new video project in Video Editor, we are back at the Projects Overview page. Now select New Video Project and name your video project. I'm going to create a wedding video project. So that is what I'm going to call this. This brings us into the Windows 10 video editing interface. Now on the left hand side is the project library. And this is where we can add all of our videos and photos that we want to edit. On the right hand side is the preview window where we can preview our edited video as it comes together. Just underneath the preview window, are the typical video controls like play, fast forward, and rewind. And down at the bottom is the storyboard. This is very similar to the timeline area in Movie Maker, where we can organize and lay out our clips and photos to make a movie. Of course, the order in which we organize our clips and photos down here will determine the order in which the video plays. And next to the word storyboard, on the right hand side, we have the menu area. 
So here is where we can find all the tools we need to edit our clips and photos. For example, we have the cutting tool, text, filters, and so much more. Now to start using video editor, the first step of course is to import or add clips and photos to our project library. We can do this by clicking on the blue link that says add right here. Then choose your clips and photos, either from your computer or from a collection. So let's say you have a collection of videos and photos in the Photos app. You can import them in to create a video. And the final option is to import videos from the web. This will open up Bing where you can import images from Bing. I'm going to import photos and videos from my PC. And I've already created a file that contains all my wedding pictures and clips. To select multiple clips and photos simultaneously, hold down the control key on your keyboard and select the files that you want to add to your project library. Now on default, all of your clips and photos will be selected when they are added to the project library. You can choose to place them all at once in the storyboard by clicking on place on storyboard and then you can manually organize them once they are on the storyboard by dragging them one by one into place like this. I'm going to undo what I've just done by clicking on the undo icon up here or I can place my clips and photos individually in my storyboard, which I recommend to keep things organized and manageable. Also, there are two ways that you can view your files in the project library. You can choose to view your thumbnails in medium size or small size. If you have a lot of files on here, then I recommend small so that you can have a better overview of all of your files. So you can see I have photo files as well as video files in my library. So I'm going to add a video to my storyboard first. I'm going to click on this one and select place in the storyboard. Or I can also drag it down, which is a bit faster. When you add a clip to your storyboard, you can see how long the clip is right here. So this one is just over nine seconds long. And also you can modify the volume of your clip here as well. Let me play back the first clip on my storyboard and then we can start cutting. So the first thing I want to do is to cut out a part of the wedding gown scene in this clip. So this part right here. So first I need to make sure the clip is selected. The blue line underneath the clip lets me know it is selected. Then I'm going to click on split on the menu bar. And when I do that, it brings up a completely new window where I can do the cutting. So this is my magic wand and I can drag it to where I want to cut the first part of my clip, which is going to be right here. Once I click on done, it will divide my clip into two frames. The first frame is the part that I want to keep. The second frame is the part I need to continue cutting or editing. So I need to make sure it is selected by clicking on it. Then we need to click on split. And this time I'm going to move my magic wand all the way to the beginning of the shoe scene. Right here. Then I'm going to click on done again. And once more, Video Editor has cut my clip into two frames. 
This middle frame is the wedding gown scene, which I want to delete. And this final frame is the shoe scene, which I want to keep. So to delete this wedding gown frame, I need to click on it to make sure it is selected and then hit delete on my keyboard. Or I can select the bin icon on the menu bar right here. All right, let's play back what we have just done. So this is how to cut a clip in video editor. You can also trim a video clip by clicking on the trim icon on the menu bar. And if you don't want the first part of your clip, you can drag it in like so. Or if you don't want the last part of your clip, you can also drag it in to remove the scenes at the end. I like this clip as it is, so I'm not going to do that for this example. So I'm just going to cancel whatever I have just done. Your changes won't be saved, so that is okay. If I want to add text to a clip or photo, I need to select text on the menu bar. This will pop open a new window with different animated text styles on the right hand side. Layout options just underneath. And also options to modify this text at the top. So the first step is to write our text in here. Because this is a wedding video, I'm going to choose something that is a bit more classic, like the text style classic. For the layout, I'm going to choose title one, and I want to shorten the duration of the text to where my cursor is right here by dragging in this bit here. I can also choose a different motion effect here, add a filter or a 3D effect. But I'm happy with the way this looks, so I'm going to click on done. All right, so you can see now that the text has been added. Something else that we can do with our video is to speed it up or slow it down by clicking on speed on the menu bar. So let's select the second clip, for example. Let me speed up this clip by double the time. And let's play that back. So I'm going to add more clips and photos now to my storyboard. Next, you will have noticed that there is no option in video editor for adding transitions in between your clips or photos. However, we do have the possibility to add motion effects to our photos, which I will do shortly. Another feature that we have on the menu bar is the remove or show black bars feature. So say for example, that I want to remove the black bars on this picture. I can select this feature and it will zoom in on the picture to remove the black bars, which is quite a neat addition to this video editor. If we want to add a title card or like an intro to our video project, we can select this feature on the menu bar as well. So say for example, I want to add it before my first video clip to introduce the video. I need to make sure that my first clip is selected by clicking on it. Then select add title card from the menu bar. When the title card is added to the storyboard, we will be able to see controls that are related to the title card. So for example, I can change the duration of my title card. I can add text or change the background color. The first thing I want to do is to add text to my title card. So I'm going to click on the link text. And it's really the same process as before when we added text to our video. 
So I'm going to add my text up here. I think simple will work well for the intro. And for the layout, title one is appropriate. Now I'm going to change the background color by clicking on the link background color up here. And I will choose a custom color by clicking on the plus icon under the header custom color. I think soft pink will work well here. I can select this color by dragging the circle to my desired color. As for the duration, two seconds will work better here. So I'm going to click on done because I am done. Okay, let's play this back. A very important element for any video is of course music. To add music to your video project, we have two options. The first option is to add recommended music given for free in video editor. So if we click on this option, we can choose between a variety of music tracks that best suit our project. If you want to listen to any track beforehand, click here. You also have the option to sync your video to the music beat. If you check this box here, I'm just going to leave that unchecked for now. And if you want to select any music track from this list, make sure it is selected and then click on done. Okay, so let's play that back. And if you want to add custom audio or narration to your video project, click on this link that says custom audio up here and then click on the link add the audio file and then you can choose music or narration from your computer to add to your project also if you want to delete any audio track you can click on the X here and you can also modify the volume right here Something I also want to do is to edit my images in my project. So I'm going to remove the black bars for every image in my project. Then I'm going to add motion to all of my images by selecting each image individually and then choosing a motion effect for that image by clicking on motion. Okay, let's play that back very quickly. So that looks pretty good. And then the final thing is really to export our video project. So we need to click on finish video up here on the top right corner. Then choose the video quality. I recommend HD video quality, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. It is a big file size. So if you want something that is a bit smaller in file size, then 720 is also an option, which is still a good quality video or the lowest quality, which is 540 pixels. I'm going to choose HD for this example, and then I'm going to export. So I'm just going to save it in my videos. Okay, so let's play back what we have created. All right, I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you have, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Also, if you have any video requests, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.